this school year, I have a first grader, and I have been using with him the Simply Charlotte Mason Elementary Arithmetic Series. Well, we have been using book one for his math. So I just wanted to share what comes in the book one kit and also show you how to do one of the quick lessons from the book. First, I'll show you what comes in the kit. You will get one of these dry erase boards. One side has the grid pattern. The other side is just blank. And then you will get a math notebook. This notebook is for the student and it has the really um, big size squares since they are still learning how to write their numbers and all that. You also will get um, a sheet with all these little numbers on them. You cut each number out and then they're number cards. This did not come in the kit, but it was suggested for one of the lessons, so I just keep it in here. But you will get um, these buttons. They came with the kit as well. They are different sizes and different colors. Also, you will get this pack of pencils. They come already sharpened. A dry erase marker. These are just a little, little rubber bands. You will also get some beads and these rings that you can put the beads inside. Popsicle sticks. You will get this string and a piece of felt cloth that you will use to make this little purse. Um, and it's so the kids can keep their money, their coins in here all together, nice and neat. And then these little pipe cleaners as well along with the math book itself. In addition to those items, we also have been using this jar of buttons. Even though the kit comes with buttons already, these are bigger size, um, they're very colorful, they're made of wood. I purchased these from Amazon and um, so we use these sometimes as well. I also have these that I got from Amazon as well. These are just wooden numbers. So sometimes we use the number cards and sometimes we will use these wooden numbers. And then we have this pretend money. This is from Melissa and Doug because they will be learning how to count money and add and subtract with money as well. So far, we've only worked with the coins, but I know that later on they will work with dollar bills as well. And I believe that Simply Charlotte Mason recommends real money. Um, I think they prefer it over play money. I'm not 100% sure though. But we don't have that yet. I have been thinking about going to the bank and just getting a bunch of coins and change, but for now we have been using these and this has been working just fine. So another item that we have been using is this little um, chalkboard. It's like personal size and I purchased this from Rainbow Resource along with these chalk pencils. And I prefer these chalk pencils because they are not messy. They won't get all over your hands and fingers and becomes like a big white powdery mess. These are very clean and they work 
exactly like the regular chalk. And then it has an eraser that you can use to erase it afterwards. So this has been working out really good for us. So this book is really beautiful. I love the color. Um, this is just paper. You actually take it off, but I just love the way it looks that I have left it on there for now, and we will see how long it lasts. I'm sure it will end up coming off soon. So in the first, in book one, the kids will be learning numbers from zero to 100, and they will also be learning adding and subtracting. They have this here broken down for you. So if you want to break it down into three terms, here is a suggestion on how you can do that. A supply list. And then you go into the lesson. So at the beginning of each lesson, you're introducing a number. Lesson one is about the number one. So you have your child point out one of something in the room, one pencil, one door, it could be anything. And then after they do that, then you write the symbol one on the slate for your child to see. So you could use either something like that, or you could use this. And then you as the parent will write the number for them. And you tell them this is number one. After that, you spread the number cards. You spread them all out and you have your child look for the number ones in the pile and then he takes them out of the pile. There's usually about three of each number. After the number cards, then your child is ready to learn to write the number one on her slate. So again, they could use either something like this or the dry erase board. Either one works the same. And after they have wrote it on their slate, then they will take their math notebook and then write the number on their notebook. So the first lesson for number one, since you are barely introducing number one, there are no um, problems for the child, but then once you introduce more numbers, then they start doing addition and subtraction. For example, this is for lesson two, so it starts the same way, you do the same thing, except this time is the number two, and then you start simple sums. With manipulatives, some are without, and then it will tell you right here if you need them or not. Here, objects used beans. So that's why we had that little bag of beans. And then it tells you what you would say to your child. And then it tells you to require fully worded answers from your child. So they start adding one bean and one bean makes how many beans? And so on. And it gives you the answers. So here they're going to be doing simple sums without manipulatives. So far I've noticed every lesson has a pure number section. And that is optional. If there is a day when your child is really enjoying their math lesson and wants to continue, then you would do the pure number section, but it is optional. You do not have to do that every day. And then as you go on, they will start writing. Oh, here you see there's review. 
So then after the first few lessons, there is also a review to review what they've done in the previous lessons. And then they also have the child write some of the problems. Usually, so far, it's been one problem per lesson. So they write it in their note notebook. So first, um, they have to, I forget which lesson, they introduce the symbols. So the, the plus symbol, subtraction, equals. And then they write it up there and then um, he has been writing like one problem in his notebook per lesson that he's done. So we start school in September. Um, we've always done it that way and it works fine for us. So we are barely on, um, he did lesson seven today. So. And that is it. Uh, at first, I was a little intimidated by this because it's just different. It's not how I did math when I was growing up. I, was, I went to public school and, you know, math is just different. So I really liked this idea, but I just wasn't sure if how it would work for our family, if I would be able to do it as a mom and teach him. But I have to say that the lessons have been very easy, simple, short. My son has enjoyed them very much. He loves being able to use the buttons and the beans and all the different things. He likes writing on the dry erase board. He loves writing on here. And we have both really enjoyed it. I actually already purchased book two. So I plan on using that the following year as well. And then Simply Charlotte Mason also has a couple other resources. They have this um, DVD and this book here, which what this is, um, it just gives you and explains to you how to do math the Charlotte Mason way in your school in, or in your home school. And so if you have any questions or want more like in depth on how to do math this way, these two are great resources to have. And then also another thing that they recommend is the paper Sloyd for primary grades. And I think because it involves a lot of measuring and cutting and things like that, and um, my kids have actually really enjoyed this. We have done this um, and they really like it. So this is an extra fun thing that they could do that could help them also with their math skills. I hope this video was helpful. And if you have any questions, you can leave me any questions down in the comments. And thank you so much for watching.